So, you want to have a mature, organized living space to entertain in, but also you want to show off your nerd culture and who you are as a person. Here are five tips to display your nerd culture in your living space. So to start this video off, we're not trying to say that it's against the law to have an eclectic living room with all your pop figures, your display cases, your collectibles. It's your living space. Do with it what you want. It's just that we wanted to have a mature, organized living space that also showed off who we were as nerds. And maybe you can relate to that. So let's start this off with tip number one, which is frame your posters. These are wonderful works of art done by very talented artists. You want to display them off with pride in your living space. When Adam wanted to display the posters he had collected from various movies we've gone to and things like that, I said to him that I didn't want it to look like a college dorm with tape on our living room walls. I said, we need to get frames because that does make it look on purpose. It looks like it's there for a reason and it looks like an, a natural display like you would display anything else in your house. So the other benefits of getting frames is that it preserves your posters much better than just displaying it on your wall with tape. It ties in the room together very nicely because it looks like what Liz said. It looks like it's there with purpose as well as the clean line of the frames keep it a lot more organized in your living space. So tip number two that we have for you is to get a headphone stand for your headphones. It takes your gaming headphones from being a piece of gaming equipment laying around on your entertainment center or your coffee table into a nice display that looks again like it's there on purpose and again you're showing off your gaming culture. So gaming headsets are expensive pieces of equipment where you want to display at, with purpose as a display object to show them off to your guests, especially if you have Astro gaming headsets. So getting that gaming headset stand, right? It will put it as a display piece on your entertainment center. While also keeping it safe. If you wanted to look at gaming headset stands, I have a link down in the description where you can check out some on Amazon. They're very cheap and they have a purpose. So tip number three is to use your collectibles to tie in your room. We all know as gamers that you get your collectible editions and even your collector's editions of your movies. And instead of just putting it in your basement just for your own little uh, man cave or she shack or whatever, <laughs> uh, you want to display it in your living space, but you can also use it to tie in the room. So strategize where it can go in your room, where, where it can go in what corner to match the color scheme. There's a lot you can do with these collectibles and not just to display it randomly but to tie the room together so if you look at our living room you see a lot of figurines and random little things that we really love to display we have a lot of little memories that we like to to show off and um we also have a special edition of harry of the first five harry potter movies that adam got me for christmas one year and instead of just throwing it on the shelf with all the other DVDs, we chose to display it on a shelf um, with other memories because it's something that not only fills a shelf that otherwise we don't know what to do with, but it also displays that separately. It shows that it's special. You can also see on our shelves that I have displayed my five flyers signed pucks that I have signed from Bill Barber, Bill Clements, Bernie Perrant, Wayne Simmons, and Adam Hall. I, I know the Adam Hall isn't that impressive, but I still have Bill Barber up there. But that's another thing that's part of us and who we are, the sports side of us that we have on display along with our other nerd culture displays. So tip number four that we have for you is getting an entertainment center that highlights your video game systems in your living space. So about a year ago, Adam and I got a new TV that wasn't going to fit on the smaller entertainment center that we had. So we were looking around for different entertainment centers and none of them had exactly what we wanted. We wanted an entertainment center that highlighted and complemented our consoles, something that fit the consoles that we wanted displayed in our living area, as well as wanted in our living area just so we can play them there. So I looked in our garage and said, I have a ton of extra wood left over from other projects. So I ended up building our entertainment center specifically for our needs. So if you look at our entertainment center, you can see that there are two separate sides to it. I figured we have so many consoles 
we can have two on one side, one on one side. I know we were gonna be adding things to it. So we just kind of built it with that so that it would have other options in it. So on one side, we have our modern updated video game consoles. We have our Xbox One X and our PlayStation 4. And then on the other side, we have the Nintendo 64 displayed as well as the Nintendo games displayed. And then off to the side, you do see our binders that have our games and all of our movies in them. That's another thing that we have that keeps everything organized for us. Um, but specifically, the Entertainment Center was built so that it does complement and show off our consoles in a more organized way. It all goes back to everything being on purpose. Everything is there on purpose, for a purpose, and it doesn't look unorganized and messy like you just kind of shoved your console wherever it fits on the entertainment center and you're stretching wires. Everywhere has space, has room to breathe, and looks clean and organized. So again, Liz built this entertainment center, but I'm sure you can find in your Walmart, your Targets, Amazon, uh, some other entertainment centers, but to find one that actually highlights the consoles that you have. Now keep in mind, I do have other consoles, but they are actually in the basement. And I said, why don't you just lay it in the living room? but not all of the game systems can fit in the living room. So some of them are in the basements. So before we get to our last tip, definitely write in the comments down below, how do you display your nerd culture? Give us some of your tips, some of your ideas of how you display nerd culture in your living space. And also remember to like this video if you enjoyed it, as well as share it on Twitter, on Instagram, if you can, on Facebook, share it wherever so that other people can share their ideas as well. Tip number five is having complimentary storage for your gaming tools and other gaming equipment. So you may have noticed on our entertainment center that the controllers weren't displayed on it. That's just because we wanted the consoles highlighted and there wasn't enough space to put it all there comfortably. But you'll also notice that we didn't store our controllers in just some basket that's under the table or somewhere. We wanted a more complimentary storage space that also ties in the room. So we ended up going to Walmart, looking for some sort of storage that goes with our room, but also gives us more storage, not even just for our consoles and other equipments, but also just more storage in our living space. So we ended up finding this cube storage and I said to Adam, we need some sort of basket because we can't just have four controllers sitting on a shelf. It's gonna look funny. So I actually ended up finding these perfect cube storage baskets that had the exact same colors as our living room. It was it had the pink and the green, so it had pink from the walls and green from the entertainment center and it just, it complemented our room perfectly. So now I had all of our controllers in a confined space, but, it, but they're safe, tucked away, organized, but somewhere that matches our room and you wouldn't know that there were controllers in that basket. So again, we're not trying to say that find some storage just to put your controller somewhere, but also just find storage that complements the room, ties the room together, and that you're proud of. That, it, that when you have guests over, you can be proud to show it off. You'll also notice in the coffee table that there's a drawer in there, and that's where I store some of my more basic retro gaming maintenance tools. You'll find some of my torque screws in there, my Nintendo security screw bits, my size zero screwdriver, and that's so that I can uh, maintain some of my retro consoles like the PlayStation 2, the Nintendo GameCube, uh, just onto the coffee table while my tools are still right there and I don't have to gather anything from the basement. So again, having storage that complements the room and isn't just somewhere that, oh look, there's a basket over there. Oh look, there's some tools in that bowl over there. It ties the whole room together and remains organized within the room. So those are our five tips to have a mature, organized living space that also complements and shows off your nerd and gaming culture. And again, these are tips, these are ideas, these aren't things to say that we have the mandatory setup for a living room for a nerd culture, but these are ideas that sometimes you can take and apply to your own living space. Also in the comments down below, tell us some of your tips, tell us some of your ideas of how you display your nerd culture in your living space. Maybe we can take some of your ideas and let's just have a more lively discussion in the comments of how you display your nerd culture in your living space. Send pictures.
And if you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a like and also subscribe to the channel because we're going to have videos like this on the channel as well as the podcast that we do, the Games and Groceries podcast, where we talk about films, uh, three gaming news pieces to keep it more condensed for you in the adult life, as well as a talking point and some guests about the gaming industry. Check out the description down below. I have some Amazon links to some of the ideas that we said, including a headphone stand, some frames. Just check it out in the description down below for those Amazon links. And if you like some of these ideas, you can order it on Amazon and put it in your own living space. Thank you for joining us for this video. Don't forget to like, share, and comment down below about how you display your nerd culture in your living space. And don't forget to subscribe down below because we're going to have videos just like this as well as the podcast, the Games and Groceries podcast, uh, where we can talk about films, gaming news, and a topic about the games industry. Thanks for joining us. See you later.